accounts payable. It's usually the first liability listed on a company's balance sheet because it is a current liability. Your bills are probably due within 30 days, which means they're due within the next year. And the difference between an account payable and a note payable is a note payable is in writing and bears interest. An account payable is a verbal agreement with our suppliers. For example, we're Target Corporation. We buy some iPad uh, cases from a supplier. We debit inventory for 100000 and we credit accounts payable for 100000 Accounts payable is a liability account. Liability accounts increase with credits. Any account that has the word accrued, payable, or unearned in it is a liability account and increases with credits. If the supplier gives us terms, 2, 10, net 30, we pay the invoice within 10 days, we get to take a 2% discount, that's what we'll do. If we don't take advantage of that discount, it's like borrowing money at 37%, and nobody wants to borrow money at 37%. So uh, we pay, we take a 2% discount, so we write a check for 98,000, cash is an asset, it increases with debits and decreases with credits. We take that account payable off our books, it's a liability account, so it increases with credits and decreases with debits. And then that $2,000 that we got to reduce our bill by, we'll use that to reduce the cost of our inventory, because after all, our inventory only costs us 98000 not 100000 Remember, financial accounting answers the question, how did you do? So companies are telling people on the outside how they did. Well, one of the first things we might look at is someone's accounts payable turnover. So imagine, if you will, a drawer where we keep all our uh, bills, all our accounts payable. The accounts payable turnover is a calculation of how many times during the year we filled up that drawer and emptied it out as we paid our suppliers. And uh, the formula for that is purchase from our suppliers, purchases from our suppliers divided by our, the average accounts payable. And that doesn't help me very much, but if we take 365 days per year and divide into that, that accounts payable turnover, that is the number I can relate to. That's about how long it takes us to pay our bills. Let's do that calculation for Target. You can see that their uh, ending inventory was 8992. Uh, their beginning inventory was 9497. Remember in accounting, we usually write the most recent year closest to the titles. And then we'll need to know the cost of goods sold because we'll have to calculate our purchases to do the um, accounts payable turnover. So here's our cost of sales for the most recent year of 54864. Let's calculate accounts payable turnover. So remember the formula for accounts payable turnover is purchases from suppliers divided by average accounts payable. Well, how are we gonna know what our purchases are? There's no account on a company's financial statements called purchases from suppliers. But we do know our beginning inventory was 9497, our ending inventory was 8992, and our cost of goods sold was 54864. So if we add these two numbers together, we know that our total goods available for sale must have been 63856. If our beginning inventory was 9497, 63856 minus 9497 means that our purchases must have been 54359. So now we know the numerator in our uh, fraction. We know that our purchases during the year from our suppliers were about 54359. We know that our average accounts payable, look at their balance sheet, take the average accounts payable, the accounts payable at the beginning of the year, plus accounts payable at the end of the year, divided by two is 984.50, so that gives us uh, accounts payable turnover of 5.524. In other words, we filled up this drawer and emptied it out 5.5 times during the year, which doesn't help me much at all. But when we divide that into 365, that tells us what our day's payable outstanding is. In other words, about how long does it take us to pay our bills? And for Target, it's about 66 days.